Schmack, oh my God, my friends. I got a donation from Dave Tyrone. And I got to tell you, Dave, this was the most agonizing video I have ever done. Even more agonizing than the Wayland Brackets, which is pretty damn bad. But this was bad. And I got to say, here's a couple things I got to say before I start showing this. I didn't want to add the same bands twice. Um... Because my original one had Kiss Alive, Ace Frehley Solo, Rock and Roll Over, Dream Police, all these different, you know, uh, and the first teacher album. So I eliminated all just to put it one band each. And also, man, this 25 is subjected to change. But, man, I pulled out, I, I don't know how many, I, it's probably 20 other ones that didn't make the list. Because you want me to pick my top 25 albums. These didn't make the list. And it kills me that they didn't make the list. And first one. Uh, Into Mega. Um, I mean Morbid Tales. I'm sorry. Uh, Celtic Frost. Fucking classic. It should be in my list. Jeff Buckley. Grace. This is an amazing album that I wish made the list. Oh my god. Denim and Leather. Saxon. Riot. Fire Down Under, Lords to Cult, Colosaurus Erectus. These all should be in my top 25. Triumph, Just a Game, UFO, Stranger Than Night. By the way, when I did my favorite live albums, I forgot to add this. This definitely is one of my favorite live albums. Oh, Sticks, Grand Illusion, Ramones, Leave Home. Queensryche, Rage for Order, Pete Townsend, all good, all cowboys, what is it called again? All the best cowboys have Chinese eyes. Oh my God, leaving this one off kills me. Double Live Gonzo, Dark Angel, Darkness Descends, Striper of the Fallen, yes, this is the best Striper album, according to me. Queen 2, oh. And freaking the first Wasp album. Oh my God, this one. Warrior. This should definitely be my... I, wanna, I want everybody to listen to this. If you don't know this album, it deserves to be in my top 25. Elvis. This is the one that he released, I don't know, 10 years ago. Well, he didn't because he's dead. But, you know, his family did. With the Royal Phil Philharmonic Art Orchestra. Amazing. Should be. Letters to Cleo. Oh my God, do I love this album. Uh, All Food. What's the name of this damn album? It's so hard to remember. Wholesale Meat and Fish. I love that album. Oasis. What's the morning, uh, what's the story, Morning Glory? But again, this one fluctuates. So sometimes I like other albums more from Oasis. And oh my God, this one really kills me. 2112. All right. Now, these are my top 25 I'm going to show you now. And yes, I know a lot of people are not going to read. Oh, you're going to put that over Rush or whatever I just showed you. Ramones or whatever. Yes, I, I am. For now, in the future, I might like this Rush and, and, and Ramones and, and Letters to Cleo over these 25 albums. But this is how I feel today. All right? And I, I'm not going to read off the numbers. You know, these are 25 and I put them in order. I'll just say right now, I'll remember. 25, I got to go with Frank Marino, The Power of Rock and Roll. This album, cover to cover. Every single song, freaking rules on this. Rules and rules hard. And the greatest guitar solo ever caught on tape, in my opinion, the last track on here, Ain't Dead Yet. Check out the song, Ain't Dead Yet. The album cover sucks, yes I know. This should have been the album cover. Number 25. Number 24. Oh, man. To put it down at 24 is a crime. <sighs> Eternal Nightmare of Violence. The perfect thrash album from beginning to end. It just rules. Calling in the Corner. Uh, Ryan Taylor, if you're watching this. He loves Calling in the Corner, but it's Lee's favorite song on here. Jackass. I'm kidding, bro. You know I love you, bro. I got you on Friday, bro. All right, what's that? 23. I know I'm going to get numbers wrong, but these are in order. <sighs> Black Rose, Thin Lizzy. 
definitely, I had to put this in my top 25. Even though it's kind of low, I had to put it in my top 25. Again, cover to cover. I even love Sarah. I even love that song. And uh, Toughest Street in Town, SNM, Do Anything You Want, Waiting for an Alibi, Got to Give It Up, probably my favorite on here. Uh, get Out of Here with Love and, uh, you know, The Black Rose. I ain't going to pronounce the name of that song because I always get it wrong. All right, I'm already, I already forgot what number we're on, but, you know, you keep score out there. This one's next. And this man should be higher. Greatest thrash album, in my opinion. Now, here's the thing. My favorite Slayer, really, is Haunting the Chapel, but that's an EP. And forever, I thought, ah, oh, the Metal Blade's the best. Show No Mercy, um, Hell Awaits. Well, now I feel this is the best one. I mean, I've always said... This is the greatest Slayer album, though it's not my favorite. No, no. And now it's my favorite. This week, it may change later on. Ugh. Whatever number is above that. Axis Bold is Love, Jimi Hendrix. I cannot get enough of this album. Little Wing, Castle Made of Sand, Spanish Castle Magic, if six was nine. Amazing. <sighs> Motorhead. No Sleep Till Hammersmith. Best Motorhead album, live, killer. I uh, got to get the deluxe one with all the other songs. And here's a funny fact about this. I didn't know this till the great Ian Wadley from the podcast told me this wasn't recorded in Hammersmith. Not that it matters. It still rules. <sighs> Kiss Alive. Now... I've said it on many occasions. My favorite Kiss album is Ace Frehley, the, the, the solo album. But, you know, I left it off here to represent Kiss. That's why I did it. I still kind of like, like the Ace Frehley album more. But no, I mean, I, I think they're kind of tied. If I really, really think about it, they're tied. And I'm going to go with the one that features all four members. An amazing one of the greatest live albums ever, Kiss Alive. The First Maiden. I used to think Killers was the best. I don't think that anymore. I think this is the best. It was my First Maiden album. And uh, I love the production on this, even though Steve Harris doesn't, and, and a lot of you don't. I love it. I love the rawness. I love the chainsaw and running free. Gun, 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 gun. Amazing album. Definitely got to be in my top 25. All right. A lot of people say, you'll put Cheap Trick over... The first Maiden, yes, this album. And, you know, it's funny is that Forever, it fluctuates between this and Dream Police. And I think when I did the my favorite Cheap Trick albums, I put Dream Police at number one and this at number two. Well, that's why I say this is so difficult to do. Because this is now my favorite. It fluctuates all the time. But man, Daddy should have stayed in high school. L.O. Kitties. By the way, I just got a four CD set of them at the whiskey in 77. Amazing. Cheap trick. I don't know what number we're on. <sighs> this one. All right. I would say it's the best album of the 90s. And I know a lot of people won't agree with this. But that's how I feel. I can't get enough of Book of Shadows from Zach Wilde. This album is just perfect. It's acoustic, -y, you know, with some electric guitar solos. Just amazing, amazing album. And this is white vinyl, right? I got this from E1. Well, they used to be called E1. Now they're Monarch. Yeah, white vinyl. Amazing album. with, And the bonus tracks are just as good. I think the bonus tracks on here. What are the bonus tracks? Let me read them off. I think they're just as good as anything on this album. Uh, Evil Ways, The Color Green, and Peddler of Death. Love them all. I love this whole album. Rips. One song, A uh, Million Miles Away, is the only electric guitar. The rest is acoustic -y, with some electric guitar solos. It may not be my number one favorite album, but I would say out of this stack here, it's the most important. Because it's the one that I bought first. It's the first rock album I ever bought. And it's so special to me. Kansas Left Overture. My God. Miracles Out of Nowhere. Greatest Kansas song ever. The Wall. My God. What's on your mind? Carry on my wayward son. 
uh, Cheyenne Anthem, Magnum Opus, Question of My Question of My Childhood, Opus Insert, amazing. Oh, this one, uh, no, no debate. This makes my top favorite 25, without a doubt. And a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people call it a boy band. Ridiculous. Never mind the Bullocks. This album, again, from start to finish, it's just perfection. Raw perfection. A lot of people, a lot of, you know, punk rock purists don't like this. And I'm not a punk rock purist, okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm not. But this album, it does it for me. And it, and it goes all the way up over all these great albums I just talked about. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. This is number thirteen. Should be higher. The live Leonard Skinner album, One More for the Road, extremely important to my youth, and I never, ever, 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 ever get sick of it. This album, Freebird, I, I, you know what, man? Freebird, to me, is the greatest Leonard Skinner song, and I know it's not popular to say. You know, if you're a Skinner fan, Freebird, man. That solo Alan Collin does at the end, Ridiculous. But this whole album, Needle and Spoon, I'm Not the One, Tuesday's Gone, uh, Saturday Night Special, Whiskey Rock and Rolla, Give Me Three Steps, Call Me the Breeze, T for Texas, Working for MCA, amazing. All right, what's this, 12? I don't know. And I want to thank my friend Mr. D. Mr. D got me this recently. Um, uh, Sabotage, a, a, a perfect album. Not one bum track on this album. It's perfection. You know, uh, Strange Ways, Beyond the Doors of Death, Legion, 24 Hours Ago, Prelude to Madness, All the Mountain King, The Price You Pay, White Witch, Last Dawn, Devastation, Rest in Peace, Chris Oliva. Amazing album. And I've always wanted this on vinyl. I've had it on CD all these years. And Mr. D came through and got me this. You rock, my friend. You bought me one of my, what is it, top 10, top 11 favorite album of all time that I've always had on CD. Well, actually, I've had it on vinyl before, but I gave it away like a jackass. All right, what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, this next one should be my top 10. I want it to be my top 10 so bad. But I, could, I, I couldn't do it. But it's at 11, and I put it above Sabotage, Leonard Skinner, and Sex Pistols, all that shit. Extremely underrated album. Coupe de Ta, the, the Plasmatics. This album, again, what, rest in peace, Wendy O, number one. This album is just metal, killer, never get sick of it. Every song rules. Great cover of No Class from Motorhead. And the damn Princess of Taboo, Country Fairs, just like on TV, Path of Glory, Put Your Love Into Me, or Put Your Love In Me, Stop, Rock and Roll, Lightning Breaks. God damn, it's amazing. Now we're at the top 10. And this is tough. And like I said, this could change. This could change. I, this could make my top 10 later on. I don't know. Number 10. Should be higher. Should be higher. Power Age. My God, what an album. Again, every song rules. Give me a bullet to bite on. Kicked in the teeth again. Riff Raff, are you kidding me? Rock and Roll Damnation. Down Payment Blues. My favorite song on here, man. What's Next to the Moon? Sin City, Gone Shooting, Up to My Neck and You. Yeah, definitely needs to be in my top ten. Number nine, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. The Beatles, man, Rubber Soul. You know, I mean, I, I believe me. If I was to put, you know, my favorite Beatles album, there'd be more than one. But this is my favorite Beatles album. But you know, I don't want to dominate my top twenty-five with the same band over and over again. But man, Drive My Car. Drive My Car is like the Arthur Fonzarelli of songs. It's just beyond cool. Norwegian Wood. Uh, you won't see me nowhere, man. Think for yourself the word, Michelle. What goes on, girl? I'm looking through you. In my life, 
my second favorite Beatles song. Used to be my favorite. Um, Wait, If I Need Someone, Run For Your Life. A song that John Lennon hated and I still love. All right, what are we at? Eight? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, at number eight, Rainbow Rising. Containing my favorite song of all time, Stargazer. This album, Tear It Woman, Run Like the Wolf, uh, Starstruck, Light in the Black. Come on, this definitely needs to be in my top ten. Amazing, groundbreaking. Seven, should be higher. Ah, you know what? I'm switching. I'm switching it. I just thought, because I saw the next one, now, I'm going to put this under it. But it's still, it's still badass, man. Unleashed the East, in my opinion, the greatest live album. Period. You know, metal, not metal. You ain't going to see no more live albums in my in my list here, because this is the best one. Number my favorite, number one live album, Unleashed in the East. Exciter, Running Wild, Green Man Alishi, Victim of Changes, my favorite pre-song, man. Genocide, Home Help Me, My People Have Died. Tyrant, uh, The Ripper, Sinner. God, forget it. Alright, now we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this one I put under Unleashed the East, but I just changed my mind. And again, it should be number one, man. Seriously. But you all that watch my channel, you know what my number one is. But this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Melissa should be number one, man. And forever, I thought this was the greatest metal album of the 80s. Till... I think it was Waylon, or no, 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 it wasn't. It was Greg Szymanski made me put this against another album, and I thought, holy shit, yeah, this is the best metal album. But this is the second one, barely. I mean, it's very close to my favorite 80s album, because one, two, three, four, my top four from the 70s. But that is number five. All right, at number four, my favorite metal album of the 80s, hands down, Die of a Madman. And to think, Randy Rhodes and Ozzy Osbourne didn't like, they thought it was too rushed, you know, they didn't like the mix and stuff. Imagine if they would have improved this. I can't. I can't imagine this being improved. My God. And, and it's like, man, what a bookend. Over the Mountain starting it. Dying of a Madman ending it, and everything in between freaking rules. At number four. At number five, actually. All right, number four. My God, can you get better than this when it comes to Led Zeppelin? In my opinion, no, you can't. Though I do love House of the Holy almost as much. I love a lot of Zeppelin. I love all Zeppelin except Coda, but that don't count. Physical Graffiti, come on, the Wanted song, In the Light, Ten Years Gone. This is just perfection. And like, I'm, I, I don't have a good ear for production, but you know, in my, my bad way of thinking of production, this is the best produced album of all time, I think. But I don't know, I may be wrong. All right, at number three, coming out in the late 70s, Van Halen 1, complete game changer. Uh, again, all these should be number one, but this is bad. This is really suffering for me to do all this. But this album, a lot of people tell me, ah, you know, I'm sick of it. I like Fair Warning more. Not me, man. I can play this album anytime, any day, and it still rules. At number three, the very first Van Halen album. Now, number two, should be number one. What's my shirt say, man? And this is the box set version. Volume four. I put this as the second greatest. And you know what? I don't think I'll ever change my mind on this. These other ones, maybe. They'll, they'll switch around, but no. Volume four, to me, is the best album from my favorite band, Black Sabbath. Absolutely love it. You know, Wheel of Confusion, Supernaut, man, Cornucopia, Under the Sun, 
Are you kidding me? Uh, Laguna Sunrise. My God, this is just an adventure. All right. You all know, not all of you, but a lot of you know what I'm going to hold up now. Because I've said it many times. And I recently even did a review on it saying how Pink Floyd The Wall is my favorite album of all time. And it is. And I've thought about this for about, I don't know, 10 years now. Because I used to think uh, Animals was the best Pink Floyd album. But no, I think this is better than Animals. And I think this is better than everything I just showed you. I stand by this. And this band is not even in my top 25 favorite bands. Weird, right? But The Wall transcends music. It hits my soul like no other album. So there you go, my friend. Um, hold on a second. Uh, all right. So Dave, there you go. These are my top 25 albums and a whole bunch of honorable mentions. And I also got to add that I know I'm forgetting a bunch. But what I'm forgetting, I'm sure it didn't make my top 25. It would it would have made my honorable mentions. Shit, just about my whole record collection would have been out here. You know, if I was going to do honorable mentions. I just, I, oh, Metallica, Master of Puppets. There's one that should be in the honorable mentions. You know, uh, Peace Cells, uh, Megadeth. Uh, Year of Decay, Overkill. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff, but... These are in my uh, top 25. And Dave even wrote, I know this is going to be hard. Yeah, yeah, it was, dude. Because believe me, first I was originally going to do just all these albums. Look, it's not in order. Just the top two are in order. And here it is. But then I thought, no, man, Dave asked for 25. So I'm going to kill myself by just picking the 25 that, you know, I feel like. Should be on it. The sweet man, Desolation Boulevard. Give us a wink, maybe. Maybe give us a wink would be in the honorable mentions as well. But anyway, thank you, Dave, so much for the donation. I hope you liked this video. And if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Click that little notification bell and like the video. That helps. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. Oh, there you go. Wait. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gobba.